have begun to unpack my FAF or FAF um, expression 710. And this is what she looks like right outside the box. She is very heavy. I don't know what I'm going to call her, probably purple. Honestly, I have not named any of my machines and I probably won't start now. <laughs> but let's get started. I got her on my anniversary, which was November 9th of this year, from one of our local stores. The sewing machine. So I should know the name of this place. That's really embarrassing. Um, the sewing machine vacuum company um, here in Memphis, Tennessee, on Germantown Road, Germantown Parkway. I'm trying not to break a nail, you guys, while I'm pulling off this tape. I just got my nails done today, so so I'm, I'm trying my best not to damage my nails in the process of removing the tape or damage the machine. It's, that's the other thing, too, or scratch it up. This is the front lid. I have no idea how to do um, a lot of the setup for her. So I'm going to be learning this machine. Mom's in the other room cutting out her pattern. Or, yeah, she's cutting out her fabric for something that she's going to sew. Her next project. So this is the bottom, um, the arm removal that holds a lot of your extra supplies and the supplies were in a separate bag um, that came with space to put your bobbins right here this little bobbin tray and there's a place to put your uh, uh, presser feet and to put um, the other straight stick plate right there as well all right and um, storage on this side for other for extra things. All right, I'm back. I want you to know it has been a struggle. It took me a minute to learn how to thread her and to also use the um, needle threader because I didn't have the needle in the up position so learning curve um but i did practice some stitching um and i don't know if you can see that i did my son's name and my husband's name my name and my mom's name and i can show you how i did that even though i don't know if this is showing backwards to you it looks like it is it's not showing you 
the way that it's supposed to be seen. So I'll maybe I might be able to fix that when I edit the video. But anyway, you just go to um, the menu and then you select A for the lettering. Um, there's comic alphabet. Um, I think that's Cyrillic and then script. I didn't really know what Cyrillic was. It looked weird. So, um, but comic, uh, and then you just select the lettering, whatever letters you want to use. So I'm going to do my last name because I did first names before. And then you can tell it to cut and stop. Now keep in mind, I don't know a whole lot about this machine. So I'm sure that there are probably some other features that I'm not telling you about or leaving out or not explaining. I'm new. Don't judge me. Press OK. Then you're going to come over here and um, press your foot on the press your foot and let it go to town. It'll tell you up here what letter it's on. Now it's on the N. Now it's on the R. And you might not be able to see that from that view. It's on the Y. And now it's about to cut the stitches and stop. There is so much I have to learn about this machine, you guys. So I, um, yeah, I don't even know what else to say, except I'll just have to learn. Um, maybe I'll bring you along for the journey. Cause this should be interesting. I feel like I'm sewing for the very first time and I've been sewing for about 42 years. So this is really scary. Alrighty. Thank you.